So make sure that uh, you put that it's week two or quarter two, week two, and that you put Tuesday at the top of your paper. So number one says to solve x divided by two minus three equals 17. I'm going to draw my line. And then I, what do I want to box up? What am I going to box up? Yep, you need an x divided by 2. So then I can get rid of my 3 by adding 3, adding 3. So I'm left with x divided by 2 equals, and then 17 plus 3 is 20. To get rid of the divided by 2, I multiply by 2 on both sides. So now x equals 40. Number 2 says to circle all of the greatest common factor of 30x and 20x squared, y squared. So I want to circle, oh, sorry, 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 thank you. Circle the common factors of 16m and 20mn. Uh, does two work? 2m? 4mn, because there's no n with the 16. 4? Yes. M? Yes. 8n? No. There's no n. 4m? Yes. And 12? No. Nope, 12 doesn't work for either of them. All right, thank you for keeping me on track. Number three, students planted four times the quantity 2x plus 3y amount of trees on Saturday, and then three times the quantity 5x plus four amount of trees on Sunday. What is the total amount of trees that the students planted? So if it's the total amount, I need to add the two quantities together. So before I do that, I need to do what property? Distributive. Distributive. So four times two is eight X. Then four times three Y would be 12 Y. Then I do that again. 3 times 5 is 15x, and then 3 times 4 is just 12. Then I combine what I have alike. My x's are alike, so 8x and 15x make, make what? 23x. 23x. Do I have anything um, else with my y's? No. Nope, so it's just 12y and then plus 12, and that's it. Number four, we have k divided by seven plus three minus two k equals a negative three. This one is different than the one up here when we have this division sign because I actually have to combine the, my k's together, right? So to combine my k's together, I have to think of this as a fraction. So I'm just gonna rewrite it. 1 7 k plus three minus two k equals a negative three. Now I'm gonna combine my 1 7 k and a negative two k. So if one is negative and one is positive, what do I do? Subtract, so I've got two minus one seven. Can I take two minus one seven? Mm -hmm. So I borrow, the two becomes a one, and it becomes seven sevenths. So then seven sevenths minus one seventh is six sevenths, so I have one and six sevenths K. I'm going to automatically change that to an improper fraction. So what does that become as an improper fraction? 13 sevenths. Now, also go back, that two was a negative, right? And this was a positive, so we had to subtract, but you want to keep the sign of the bigger number, so this is going to be negative. So now I have three minus 13 sevenths K 
equals a negative 3. Are you guys with me so far? So I'm going to box up my k because I don't want them to move. I'm going to move the positive 3 by making it a negative 3, adding it to both sides. So now I have a negative 13 sevenths k equals a negative 6. This is multiplying. So to divide, you di when you divide a fraction, you're really multiplying by the inverse, correct? Mm -hmm. So I can just say times it by 7 thirteenths, and you can see how they cross e cancel each other out, right? So then I need to multiply this side by seven, negative 7 thirteenths. So k equals, well, 6 times 6 is? 36. Not 36. Oh, 6 cubed. Six, I oh. said 6 times 6, though. 6 times 7 is 42. So I'd have 42 thirteenths. And a negative times a negative becomes a positive. Then I'm going to take this improper fraction and make it a mixed number. So 13 goes into 42 how many times? I don't know right now. 3? Yeah. 39. So then 42 minus 39 is 3, right? So 3 and 3 thirteenths is K. So this is your final answer. Did any of you get this one correct? Nice. Good job. Do you get, uh, is it where you are combining the K's, the fraction, and is this where it trips you guys up the most? Yeah. You'll get better at it by just making sure you're changing that to a fraction. Okay? So if you didn't get it, you're making sure you're writing it all down. That's a lot of work, isn't it? Lots of work. But that way we get it right. Number five. A store selling candy for six, $6 for 12 bags. How much will it cost if you need to have 110 bags? So if it's $6 for 12 bags, right? I can set up an, a ratio here. I want to know how much it will cost if I have to have 110 bags. So I have an X here over 110 bags. Do you guys see that? So I'm going to do cross multiplication. 110 times 6, 660 equals 12x. So then I have to divide by 12 on both sides. So I'm going to rewrite that. 660 divided by 12. 12 goes into 66 five times. And then 12 goes into 60 five times. So it'll cost $55. How many of you just took $6 divided by 12 and then multiplied by um, point five because it would be 50 cents that's fine but i also want you guys all to set it up as an equivalent ratio because that is our next chapter that we're going to be getting into and as always money to money bags to bags or whatever it is yes what i did is um i easily figured out that one dollar equals two bags and so then i divided two by 110 which i got 55 so I figured out 55, the answer is $55 equals 110 bags. Yep, and that's another way that you can do it. But make sure you also set it up this way with the equivalent ratio. Yeah, okay. Really yeah, there's different, different ways to think about it. Number six, we have a negative 22 minus M, or is less than, excuse me, M minus 57. Draw your line, box up the M. This is a minus 57. I'm going to add 57 to both sides. If one's negative, one's positive, we subtract. subtract to keep the sign of the bigger number. So I'm doing my subtraction over here, and I get 35, and the bigger number is positive, so it stays positive. So 35 is less than M. And I always like to rewrite it as M is greater than. 35. 7. 
to write an inequality that represents the graph below. This is an open circle, so it is at two. So that's saying x is greater than two. Number eight, we need to graph six is greater than m, or m is less than six. So here's my line. I'm going to um, just start here at zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get some negative numbers in on the line. Negative one, negative two. And it says M is less than. It has to be an open circle at the six. And the arrow is pointing to the left. Go ahead, Timmy.